Hello, seventh graders. Today in lesson 18, we will be talking about the history of the Putlingur community. In this lesson, we will talk about the introduction from the first to the fifth Marthoma, the sixth Marthoma, the efforts for a reunion, and finally from Marthoma the sixth to Marthoma the ninth. Parambal Chandi Katana became the bishop after slanting cross oath. Those who accepted Chandi Katana followed the East. Assyrian liturgy used by the Mullingar Church and who continued allegiance to the Pope of Rome. The group who remained in loyalty with the Pope of Rome began to be known as Pare Kutuga. Those who stood firm behind Archdeacon Thoma accepted the Jacobite Bishop of Antioch, followed the Antiochian liturgy. They cut off the relationship with the Pope of Rome and were known as Putten Kutuga. Putten Kutuga began to be known as Jacobites. Mar Joseph Kariata was a fervent promoter of Christian community. Now let's talk about from the first to the fifth Marthoma, 1653 to 1765. After the slanting cross oath, 12 priests together ordained Archdeacon Thoma as a bishop. In order to set right the ordination, Antioch was contacted and the Jacobite bishop, Mar Gregorios, arrived in 1665 for the first time. Mar Gregorios Metropolitan from Jerusalem consecrated Archdeacon Thoma of Pagalamatam family as the first native bishop in 1665. He was known after the name Mar Thoma I. Mar Gregorios worked only to reinstate the customs abolished by the Synod of Uriambarur. He never introduced the Antiochian liturgy or propagate Jacobite faith here. Marthoma I died in 1670 and was entombed in the church at Angamari. Five Marthoma ruled the Putangur community till 1765 after Marthoma I. The Antiochian bishops, Mar Biselios, Mar Gregorios, Mar Ivanios, who came to Kerala during the time of Marthoma V, were the strong propagators of the Antiochian liturgy in Malangara. Instead of the East Syrian liturgy, the Antiochian liturgy gained publicity among the Putin after 1765. Thus, three liturgies, East Syrian, which was popular, Latin from Portuguese missionaries, an Antiochian liturgy from Antioch came into being. Now let's talk about the sixth Marthoma, which was from 1761 to 1808. The Jacobite Bishop Mark Gregorios came from Antioch, ordained Marthoma the sixth, and he adopted the name Mar Divanios the first. Next is the efforts for a reunion. Mar Thoma VI tried for the reunion of the groups of Putangur and Paregur. Tachil Mathan Taragan, the leader of Paregur, and Kariati Yosef Malpan, the chief of the priest and the other members of the community also tried for reunion. Paremakal Thoma Katanar and Kariati Yosef Malpan went to Rome and Portugal with the petitions for reunion of Mar Thoma VI. They obtained the documents and permission from Rome. Cariati became Archbishop in 1782, returned to Goa in 1786. He passed away in 1786 and was buried in Goa. When Paramagal Thoma Katanar was the leader of the Paregur Church, negotiations for reunion were held. Marthoma VI was reunited to the Catholic Church on June 22, 1799. He took his residence at Tatambali Alapar. 
However, the missionaries didn't hand over the rule of the church to Martha the VI. Since he did not get the rule, after six months he returned to the Putangor community. He passed away in 1808. Finally, let's talk about from Marthoma the Sixth to Marthoma the Ninth. In 1796, Marthoma the Sixth installed his successor, Marthoma the Seventh. Marthoma the Eighth and Marthoma the Ninth were installed as successors. Marthoma the Ninth, even though was installed in 1815, was not able to rule. From 1653 to 1815, Putangur and Baregur were cooperative. Though they were under two leadership, liturgy was conducted together in several churches. They used East Syrian liturgy in good many churches. Nobody considered that the Antioch Patriarch had any jurisdiction here at that period. Efforts were taken to bring Putangur community under one leadership. Now let's review your questions for this lesson. Describe the Pare Kutgar and the Pudia Kutgar. Describe the efforts for reunion of Martha Mother VI. For your activity this week, make flashcards for learning all the important early leaders in order with years who helped with the reunion. All right, seventh graders. Well, that's all for Sunday school today. So make sure you review your lesson and complete your activity for this week. Have a wonderful week. God bless. Bye.